patients of Entebbe Road because he had a bit of a chest infection. He was treated, he got better, and then he preferred to be home. So it was a surprise on Tuesday as I was driving back home from work, I got a number of missed calls. My phone has a tendency of going off when I'm driving, but then I checked and I see so many calls. I called back and Mami Esther said, looks like Professor is not well. So we have called a doctor, but looks like he's not well. When I spoke to the doctor who had been called in, I said, how about this, how about this, how about this? Everything was to confirm that he had gone to be with the father. So we wanted to find out exactly what could have been the reason why he, he died. Because as far as we knew, his myeloma was well controlled and we wanted to find out exactly. And indeed, as we might have been told earlier, a blood clot had moved into his lungs. And that gave him a sudden death. So his immediate cause of death was acute respiratory failure as a result of a blood clot.